Uh, welcome to our webinar uh, heading towards team excellence. Uh, today we'll discuss how Google Workspace can automate processes and streamline your team collaboration. And I'd like to present our speakers uh, who will share their insights on Google Workspace efficiency. So today we have on stage Dominic Zeligowski, Territory Manager at Google Workspace. Hi, Dominic. Uh, we also have Ilya, a uh, solution engineer at Cloudfresh, who will share demo. Hi, Ilya. Hi, all. Hi, all. And our dear customer, Ruslan, process engineer in the business development team at Nix. Uh, hi, Ruslan. Thanks for joining. Hey, everyone. So, uh, a few words about Cloudfresh. We are global Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta partners. We are trusted by more than 1,400 customers all over the world. We provide an entire life cycle of professional services to support our customers from consulting, planning to implementation and training for your teams and also further support. And uh, uh, as for Google Workspace, whether you are a new or existing Google Workspace user, you can experience a huge amount of benefits by working with us. As for new Google Workspace uh, customers, uh, we guarantee the free proof of concept, the free 30 days trial, uh, cost optimization and selling, and professional services. If your business is already using Google Workspace, you can take advantage of cost savings, licenses optimization, special partner discounts, and partial domain licenses. So our team are all set up to provide you with the most successful and cost-effective Google Workspace usage. And uh, here you can see uh, some of our customers who trust us uh, on their way to transform their business operation and their workflows. And today we have a special offer for you. We offer a free Lenovo Google Meet Series 1 kit to enhance your meeting experience for all companies best based in the European Union. So if you want to partner with us for Google Workspace solution, just scan the QR code, fill out the quick form, and get a chance to receive the kit for your meeting room. And uh, last but not least, another surprise for you, uh, we will have a Q&A session, and people who ask the best questions chosen by our speakers will receive some cool gifts from us. So please do not hesitate, uh, put all your questions to the chat. We will cover them at the end of this webinar and you will get the chance to win some branded gifts. So uh, let the most interesting part begin. Dominic, stage is all yours. Amazing, thank you, thank you so much and good to be here. Um, I really appreciate uh, first of all, Cloudfresh for, for uh, inviting me to the webinar, allowing me to speak. Um, second of all, thank you, Ilya, for being here and um, providing your technical expertise and, and your experience with, with the workspace. Um, and of course, thank you, Ruslan, as well. I'm really happy to have a customer that's a satisfied and happy customer uh, that will tell us a bit more about their experience with workspace and how workspace has helped you guys achieve business um, excellency. So um, yeah, good to be here. Um, first of all, um, as you can see on the slide, my name is Dominic. Um, I have been at Google for five years um, in various different teams and in, in um, ads in uh, GCP, uh, but also in a workspace. I have to say this is my favorite team. Uh, not because I am quite, uh, quite biased, but because workspace as a product um, really says what it does on the tin. And having a good product for a seller is the true and true dream. So um, on today's webinar, I'm going to tell you a bit about Workspace, a bit about business impact, a bit about the tools um, that, that Workspace encompasses. Um, and then hopefully you'll have some questions that we can all take and answer at the end. A lot of you probably already know Workspace. You might know Gmail as your personal um, sort of email. You might have worked at a company that has used Workspace before, or maybe you're a customer of Workspace today. Either way, the goal for me is to give you a bit of an understanding as to how we look at the tool, um, the different pillars that we divide the tool into, and basically all of the um, sort of business benefits that the Workspace can bring to you and, and your company. 
Workspace is truly divided across three main pillars. We have the Connect pillar, which encompasses tools like Gmail, Calendar, Google Meet, which you are all on right now. We have the Create and Collaborate pillar, which encompasses some of our docs, sheets, some of our um, creativity tools. Um, and that pillar allows you to sync real time from anywhere with your team and collaborate across many different devices. And lastly, we have, which I believe the, is the most important pillar, which is the control and the access pillar. This is your console. This is where you control who has access to what within your company, who has what type of a license, and how your data, uh, the data of your customers is stored across the Google Workspace ecosystem. And all of that runs on an application, which I am sure a lot of you are familiar with, that being Chrome. Google Workspace is built for today's hybrid environment. It was a tool that was built by Google for Google. Over 170,000 employees at Google use this tool every single day to create together, to connect, to chat, all while keeping all of the data across the company very safe. And as you can imagine, Google has a lot of sensitive data. So this is a particularly important layer of security here. Our mission as a company and our mission as a product is to make connections between people, meaningful connections be with people and between people, and to allow them to create, to build, and to grow together as a company, as an education facility, as a university, but also as individuals. Google Workspace is the world's most popular productivity tool. And I think you might be surprised to hear that, but I'll show you some statistics that will help you understand how that is the case. First of all, when we look at the next generation of people, over 86% of Gen Z and millennials prefer working in Google Docs. And over 75% prefer working in Google Slides. These are fresh statistics from 2022. So you can be sure that all of the following generations uh, will have a familiarity with the product. But they'll also understand what it means to use Google Workspace. They'll have um, an understanding of how, of how the different tools connect to one another. But also, you'll come to employ these people one day at your company. And you can rest assured that these next generations will know exactly how to operate and how to use the Google Workspace tool stack. Today, every month, 10 million different companies use Google Workspace to collaborate, to create, to work, to serve their customers, and over 3 billion individual people use Workspace as well. And oftentimes when you think of Workspace and when you think of the different customers that you have, you probably think of startups. And you would be completely right because the vast majority of companies that use Workspace would be startups. Um, the product is easy to use, it's easy to navigate. Startups need to scale fast. They need to implement tools quite fast. They need to allow for a fast time to market. But not only startups use Google Workspace. We also have some traditional companies which you wouldn't probably expect. One of my favorite here would be Colgate Palmolive. There's a really good study on YouTube how the whole company transitioned from a competitor to Google Workspace basically overnight. They were expecting a lot of downtime. They were expecting to you know, maybe not be quite familiar. They were expecting their employees to be um, lost or unable to sort of pick up where they left off, but this wasn't the case. Uh, so I'd highly recommend maybe after this webinar that you navigate onto YouTube and watch. It's only a three to five minute video about Colgate implementing Google Workspace at scale at their company. Okay, I'm sure, as we said, a lot of you are probably familiar with Google Workspace, but I'd love to go through some of the business impacts that we note and some of the most important business impacts and the studies that we've done as to how Workspace actually changes the business or the, the company that you run or the company that you work for. First of all, uh, one of my favorite studies revolves around the productivity 
um, aspect of, of um, an average employee. We found that on an average, companies save 171 hours or 21 days per year just by using Google Workspace. The tools are easy to navigate. They're easy to uh, plug into other applications, thus making it a lot easier for employees to achieve the ROI that they would expect out of Workspace. We also find that a lot of employees, um, that a lot of companies may have various different tool stacks. They may be using one tool to communicate, another tool to organize their business, another tool to keep uh, track of their customers. But with Google Workspace, you can actually get rid of um, a lot of tools and integrate everything into one tech stack and keep it all at the same level. Your tools will be able to communicate with one another and your tools will also be able to integrate and send data across the relevant platforms that you utilize as a business. Another study that we have is the ramp up study. So we measured how employees that join a company that has Google Workspace uh, versus our competitors, how fast are they able to onboard and ramp up their new workers? So if you imagine a business that may be hiring anywhere from 30 to 50 employees per month, uh, a hyper scaling business, a business that's growing quite fast, a business maybe that has a high turnover rate, like customer service or customer support. Based on the study that we did, we found that 25% uh, a 25% uplift in how fast um, workers can ramp up just by using Google Workspace, which in turn leads to higher productivity. It leads to more creative work. It leads to work that uh, matters most, right? Work that brings in revenue for your business or work that uh, brings in new customer for a business. So um, a work that truly um, for you as a business will be most impactful. Another statistics that we found was that businesses that have Google Workspace actually have a higher retention rate. It's no surprise that the tools that you give to your employees, the tools that you give to your students, the tools that you give to, to your customers um, essentially make them more engaged. They allow for a happier employee, an employee that can um, utilize the tech stack to the way they need to, um, and an employee that can produce the type of work that they would like to. I did see some um, university or, or um, a college mentioned in the comment earlier on, but today we have over 140 million students across the whole globe using Google Workspace. And that is that next generation of workers that will effectively join um, the workforce in a couple of years, some of which have already now, um, and that will be ready to utilize Workspace as a professional product at your company. As we said, the various different third-party applications allow for an easy transfer of data, easy access of use, and they allow for you as a business to seamlessly um, utilize the different tools that you have. In fact, we have over 5,200 different tools in the Google Workspace Marketplace, which all integrate seamlessly into the Workspace tech stack. And we're hard at work adding more of these integrations. It's no surprise that Google has been a pioneer in AI, which is also heavily integrated across Google Workspace. There will be future webinars with uh, CloudFresh to tell you a bit more about, web and, uh, about AI and a bit more about how we utilize AI to make teams more efficient and more productive. But in 2015, Google became an AI-first company, and it's no surprise that we have added that tool or that particular uh, feature and many different AI features across the Google Workspace tech stack as well. Some of these tools have been added as early on as 2015, 16, even 18. You might recognize, recognize Smart Compose, which is the tool that will help you finish sentences or suggest email titles for you. That's actually AI, and that's been AI way before AI was as big of a conversation as it is today. In 2023 and 2024, we're adding even more AI tools. Again, we'll have a dedicated webinar on this, but we're adding Gemini, our um, AI assistant to all of our Google Workspace tools 
into the future. In fact, in the last year, we have added 300 different new features into the Workspace Tech Stack alone. So we are growing, we are adding tools, and we're always innovating how to integrate AI and how to integrate um, all, of, all of the AI goodness that it has to bring into our tool stack. Most importantly, that all sits on a secure zero trust platform that is protecting Google's data as a company, but also your data as a customer of Google Workspace. We block 99.9% .9 of all spam, phishing, all malware before it even reaches users, protecting them at the source, protecting your company at the source, and not allowing for any malware to seep true into your company. And all of that is built on the cleanest cloud. We're on a mission to be carbon free by the, eight, by the time of 2030, so that all of our data centers will run on clean energy 24 seven around the clock. That's a bit about a workspace, just a small introduction. I would like to pass it over to one of our customers, Ruslan Nix from Nix. Uh, thank you so much for listening and I'll take some questions at the end. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Dominic, for the introduction. And let's start uh, with my topic. So, hi, my name is Ruslan, as, as you already know. I'm with Nix, I think, yeah, it's almost eight years so far. And I've been working more closely with the process engineering, especially in business development part of our company. So, and today I'd be glad to talk to you about our own story, how Google Workspace helped our company to achieve our goals. So a few words of who we are. So Nix is a global software engineering company. We help our clients worldwide with full cycle of software development services, starting from like a, you know, technical consultation, discovery phases, up to ready to market product, digital marketing on the top. We also provide team as a service uh, solution so we can enhance your in-house software development team or act as independent business unit. So what we can do for our clients, as you can see, we can cover, I think, 85, 90% of current uh, web stack and basically any type of technology stack. We also closely work with AI, as Dominic say, like a big company already worked with AI like tens, thousands years before it, it was like a, such a buzzword as it is right now. So we can also help our clients on that part. As you can see, we're also official partner with major providers like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, but more on a server, la server layer. So as uh, you can see, uh, we work with different companies from startups to Fortune 500, and I'm not honored to name among our clients like industry leaders like Lenovo, Cengage, Thomson Reuters, and I assume we have several similar clients with Google too. So uh, our journey to Google Workspace began well, well, well before the contract date. Uh, when we selected the corporate tools, we prioritize uh, main, mainly two things. First one is security, and another one is cost effectiveness. As a software development company, we created our own custom product for our HR purposes, for our finance, for our reporting, project management tools, and many more. But develop custom uh, communication productivity tools from scratch wouldn't align uh, with cost effectiveness and timelines. So another option we considered was to go to self-hosted open source software, which was a win-win in terms of security and cost, but it was far away from functionality compared to Google Workspace. So what we did, uh, after helpful consultation, we got a trial period by CloudFresh, which was a really crucial for us, because at that moment we have our like a two ideas go to either Google Workspace or Microsoft. So the trial period proved the advantage of Google Workspace for us as a company, as me for individual too. Uh, so it's really easy to use and it's like really well integrated. And as Dominic mentioned several times, you don't need to spend much time to get be familiar with any tool set because, you know, I think everyone in a tech sphere uses like a Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Drive. So they're familiar with ecosystem. So after we started migration, our processes from DAOs and DAOs and standalone tools to Google Workspace ecosystem, we have a regular sync with CloudFresh. Thank you guys for your help. And CloudFresh experts help us to tackle challenge we faced, uh, uh, have like a Q&A session regarding our questions we uh, faced during our implementation. And they show us a willingness to go extra mile to assist us in our plans. So. 
even after Google Workspace was up and running for like a you know year and a half, we still have a consultation with and guys in order to achieve uh, our new goals, to talk about new features, to talk about new products, and to see how Google Workspace can help us achieve more more goals. So after a year and nine months, I suppose, uh, of successful use of Google Workspace at Nix, I'd like to highlight four key benefits for us as a company. So first one is um, using products from one ecosystem. So we have a one centralized management uh, platform for all our data. We can ensure that every piece of information is stored securely and under the control of organization. So we, as a company, use a uh, less privileged approach. So we always try to uh, pro provide our uh, employees with the right tool set, but with security in mind. So uh, moreover, this uh, ability from a, using a one ecosystem uh, reduce us in effort from offboarding or onboarding by half at least. Another great thing was mobility. So an access to any document, you know, communication, chat, tools, email from any device, basically with the internet connection, help us a lot during the relocation, opening new locations, business trips, events, and also it saves a cost on workplace setup for any new teammates. Our team highly appreciate a seamless integration between all productivity tools, even like simple things like choosing a free time slot right from the call or linking meeting minutes into event, save you minutes every day. And if you count by the end of the month, you can you know save hours and hours of your work that you can use for some creativity rather than do manual stuff. And another thing, but not the least, is like a one login, one password for every work-related tool. With third-party integration of Google SSO, it's really nice to have a, an ability to use only like your one credentials to go to entire company ecosystem. And let's talk about some product-specific uh, use cases. I think it will be more interesting. So first one, it's a Google Calendar. Uh, for I think for us and for any big company, it's a game changer. After a long time, we use a free, a free busy find time feature in Google Calendar. I can say this is a really must for any big company. Uh, we saved at least 200 hours monthly by eliminating this inefficient process when you need to talk to each of your teammates in order to find the right slot. Especially if you're talking with like a super busy top management, it's, it was a really hard, but right now it can be done in a five, 10 seconds. Uh, we also like office-oriented companies, so we often need to book a meeting room to schedule some events. So previously, we need to like uh, agree on a time on slot and then go to our in-house uh, build application to book a room. Right now, it was done already in a Google Calendar, so the Google Calendar suggests you a room based on your meeting location, number of guests, and other, other factors. Mm. <laughs> Uh, sorry, guys. Yeah, I think we have some technical issues. Sorry, Ilya, I don't he don't hear you. Oh, yeah. Now I can see my oh, yeah. Sorry, so uh, I think we stopped on a, a room booking procedure. So right now it's done all in a Google uh, Google Calendar, so you don't need to, to go to external application. It also saves you, you know, some minutes per day. Also a really nice uh, feature for us is shared calendars. We enjoy using this uh, ability for manage company-wide, team-wide, project-wide events, calendars with our partners, third-party vendors, with our clients, with our uh, you know, third party teams, it's really nice to have this ability just to, you know, send the link and be able to find a mutual time slot. Uh, another great feature for us was appointment schedule. So when you need to have like, um, I would say typical service, uh, time things, especially like uh, recruitment can do like a uh, ask a tech experts to go to candidate interview or human managers, uh, can set up one-to-one -one call of each team member right now. It's really easy to do with appointment schedule. So. Our teammates just send the link and you can find the best slot for you. Uh, another interesting uh, stuff is a user group and use cases. So uh, 
my team now can really quickly find uh, anyone within the team by name using the public uh, profiles in Google, in like in type of Google, you know, in Google chat, in Google Docs, we need to share something so you don't. Uh, guys, I think we have some issue with either internet or presentation. Yeah, let me try to share the slides. Yep. So maybe we'll have not there. I'm sorry. Uh, Ilya, you're already sharing. Okay, so if it's happening one more time, I will share it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, let's Yeah, yeah. Can you please give me a co-host feature that I be able to use slides? Okay, thank you. Uh so um Another uh, interesting and not so, I would say, obvious feature for me was uh, that Google can provide you external user access. So we as a company right now can uh, really easily set up a free account in the organization for our customers, for our partners, so they can uh, use the credentials to log into our group chats, to see our you know Google sites and any type of Google documents. As far as we also have Google SSO, they can use the same credentials to go like uh, to at less in Jira, Confluence, and other products. So it's really easy way to provide your partners, your clients, your customers, your vendors with ability to interact with you. Uh, another um, key feature for us, and I think it's one of the best feature in uh, work, uh, workspace in terms of users and groups, is ability to automatically manage uh, Google Groups. So our uh, use case was quite challenging because we manage all access related data inside in our in-house security system, but we managed to easily set up uh, after synchronization between uh, this tool and a Google workspace based on a custom fields in the Google profiles. So then we create a script that automatically manage hundreds of teams based on roles, technology, project-based, location-based, group-based team members across all the company. As a result, uh, Imagine you are like a project manager when you need to add a new teammate to your pro uh, to your project. You just you know enter one line that like this uh, new team member will join your team, and it will automatically create uh, all the access, provide access to Google Space, Google Share Drives, calendars, and other you know mutual uh, project things. As for uh, Gmail, uh, previously with the company, we use a self-hosted SMTP server, and we spend from 1,000 to 20, 25 uh, hours monthly just to manage it. And right now we spend zero because it's all done by Google site, so we don't need to spend any effort on it. And I would like to emphasize uh, that Dominic said about uh, spam filtering and preventing from phishing and other stuff. So uh, our team, can only confirm that spam filter went to a new level with the uh, uh, Gmail ability and functionality. Another thing, especially I really enjoyed for my business development team as it's so easy to integrate Gmail with other third party solutions. So for example, we're using a uh, tool that generate a nice looking signature across the company with dynamic content, like, you know, upcoming events, upcoming webinars, promos. So G it's so easy to integrate your Gmail works, uh, work, uh, email with any third-party tools. And also, uh, last I think it was last summer when Google uh, got a great feature to send personalized emails by linking uh, Google Sheet with uh, recipients in additional columns. And we can use like additional columns as a text in your email. So you can see, you can send sorry, uh, personalized emails uh, within your Gmail of your Google workspace without any need to buy additional tool or integrate with additional tool set. So I think uh, the biggest uh, topic for me and the biggest benefit we uh, utilize from workspace uh, besides uh, uh, one ecosystem, it's uh, app scripts and business process automation that we managed to done with the Google workspace. Uh, I will just name a few of them just to provide you with a showcase. So. Um, after our organization like enjoy all these features of Google products, we realized that we need to do something more tailored to our particular business need as a company. So, and here we discovered the Google Apps Script platform comes for help in any kind of uh, automatization we may need. So uh, what we did, so first one, uh, 
we automated mainly operational processes and mainly day-to-day -day routine in our company. Uh, for instance, we use Google Forms and Google Apps Scripts to fully automate our vacation, business trips, day of uh, approval process, I would say. So uh, how it's done? Once the user fills the form in Google Form, uh, the script goes to the company hierarchy system to select the person managers and send uh, him an, or to her an email with all needed information and two buttons like accept or decline day off. Let's say the button are just links to a Google web app as it collects responses, create the records in a special spreadsheet that we can also use as an interface to see our you know, day offs, vacations and business trips. We also use Google Forms and App Scripts to simplify our offline event organization. So we do different offline events from recruitment perspective, uh, from the, our teammates, like you know, some parties, etc., and like uh, tech events. So uh, our teammates can uh, use Google Form to uh, basically sign in for an event. Our Google Web App uh, will automatically send user a calendar event with all needed information like location, et cetera, et cetera, and also provide a QR code within this event and send also QR code to email. And our event manager teams, they can also use our uh, Google Web App to scan QR codes and to see level of attendees, whether this uh, particular user has like reserved seat, et cetera, et cetera. And also this like a uh, automated process help us to be more eco-friendly since we don't need to use any paper-based tickets for any event so we can use like a qr code that automatically generated by google and this whole automation uh, help us and took us only like i don't know 10 15 hours just to implement with app streams uh, we as a company also developed i think a thousand a different chatbots so far especially for our IT and office management teams for like a ticket creation uh, to help to use our internal tools, like to reach the tech support along with the bots that integrate with our uh, own in-house uh, platforms and applications, also with third-party tools like Jira and Confluence. So we basically try to use Google uh, chatbots as a way to uh, eliminate unnecessary routine of like, you know, copy paste, uh, uh, you know, same data in different tools. So we basically try to provide user visibility to focus on an important and creative part of work by eliminating day-to-day uh, -day copy paste routine. Another small but handy automation uh, was automatically saying uh, birthday routines and anniversary, like, you know, we have like a five years at Nix, et cetera. So uh, what we did, we have a Google scripts that go to Google profile and get this data about your birthday and send the message to uh, Google Space chat with you via a webhook of this chat. So it was done, I think, in one day. It's really easy to automate it, but it helps you not to forget about everyone. And we also have this small automation that send you event and calendar for your management that like hire you to meet as this person and to remind to buy a you know cake to celebrate a birthday or anniversary. Um, Google Sheets automation. So uh, we, I think all of us, we are using Google Sheets or used to use it. And we see that it's really robust and a big uh, platform that allows you to work with data and tables in different uh, manners. But uh, sometimes we all see that we require not only to, you know, work with uh, some sort of uh, data creation but we need to do like uh, copy paste uh, and create like a duplicates of google sheets create some you know slight modification of existing uh, sheets manage access manage access to like a folder manage uh, access to some you know uh, part of the sheet or etc so we uh, create scenarios using uh, google app scripts that can allow you to extend Google Sheet functionality, such as creating like a file based on some templates, automatically aid needed permissions, send emails with a newly generated Google Sheets, create like a calendar event based on data in the Google Sheets and adding data within the sheet from different sources from Google products along with third party products via API and many more. I would like to show you a small example of one of these optimizations. So, uh, over the last, I think, two years, we faced a lot of challenges that requires us as a company that we need to do a data gathering to make a data-driven decision, but very in, in very fast terms. Usually, it requires not only to get sensitive data from different sources, but uh, it also uh, needs to provide you from, uh, like I would say, 
uh, main end to end insights from uh, team leaders, from upper management, etc. So it was uh, crucial to maintain security during this process. So previously, it requires a lot of manual work to send like initial data to each teammate, like to share, I would say, like thousands or like two thousands of different spreadsheets with different permissions to you know, different individuals, then get all these insights from them, collect into one big you know, spreadsheet, and then create some graphics and dashboards to present to uh, upper management as C-level execution. With the Google Workspace and Google Apps Script, we managed to automate this process uh, like as it was done right now within one click. So Google Scripts fetch all needed initial data from internal system, from Google uh, Slides, Google Sheets, and third-party data, divided all the data set into separate spreadsheets, automatically provide access uh, within the different Google groups or individuals, send them emails, calendars, event with you know, reminders, and once all this data is collected, all the insight were put it in, uh, Google Scripts collect all this information into one big dashboard, create, uh, create uh, I would say, up-to-date, automatically updated dashboards that we can use as a helicopter view, I would say, to see our KPIs and metrics. So, and we almost eliminated any uh, manual work, but still keeping in mind the top level of security that we can provide, especially from the permission management. And in a conclusion of this automation block, I would like to say, so even if you'd like to automate some small routine, as I mentioned, like, you know, both the routines, it's not so, so crucial for the business and revenue, but it can save you, you know, several minutes, half an hour a day. And by the end of the year, you will see, okay, we as a company was able to achieve 20% more because we have 20% more time by eliminating unnecessary redundant work that could be done right now with a, such a, great ecosystem as a Google workspace. So as a final words and my recommendation, especially to a business that uh, currently use uh, other type of ecosystem or like thinking about to go to cloud. So first of all, don't hesitate. So uh, even when you go to cloud, uh, you get a more security than you can expect, especially even more than self-hosted solution. And you also don't need to worry about it because almost all the backend work were done already by the cloud provider. So when you go to Google, you don't need to spend anything connected to managing your Gmail, managing your data in Google Drive. So it was done for you. So you can just use it and enjoy it. Uh, also, it's not enough just to go to purchase a product for your company. Uh, it's uh, uh, It's really... I would say it's worth to invest not only to like do some you know demo for your uh, employees, but also to set up some uh, learning environment when everyone can see any new feature. As Dominic said, Google provides you with hundreds of new features per year. So it's worth to have a like small R and D team within your team that can be in track of any new updates, can be uh, you know in a constant sync with CloudFresh to see all. Oh, what type of new features we have, you know, we foresee for the future and how we can basically utilize all of them to simplify our work uh, force and simplify our daily routines as a company. Also, uh, the next step is when you already purchased a, a Google Workspace is to start building a process automation team to unlock a full potential of Google Workspace and tailored all these products specifically for your needs. Every company, university, or any other, you know, facilities, they need specific uh, processes, specific business needs. And it's really easy that you have an ability of using Google Web Apps or App Scripts to basically a little bit tweak and change uh, already great product to tackle all your challenges and all your goals. And another uh, important point, so don't hesitate to contact a domain experts such as CloudFresh to have a consultation, maybe to set up a trial, or we are faced with some already, you know, like when you're already a, a partner of them, just to have you really faced any issue, you know, or have you an idea how to better utilize Google Workspace. So don't hesitate to contact them. They're always like eager to help you. So I can say it for truly. And from my part, I think is that's it. I will be able to answer your questions uh, by the end of the presentation. And thank you for your time. I think it's time for Ilya to show in real life what we, what Dominic and, and I, we just talked about it.
Ilya, we don't hear you, I think. No. No. No, we still cannot. Yeah, let's change the headphones. Oh, okay, is that okay now? Great. Yeah, yes. Just a second, I will share my screen and we will continue with my presentation. Okay, so just a few words about me so my name is Ilya, and i'm more a tech guide called fresh and we will talk today about the um, some kind of small things small pieces but uh, more important in complex yeah to make your uh, work life your business life in google workspace environment more comfortable yeah and more uh, productive so i will talk about like how to not waste time on the routine things in Google Workspace. So we'll talk about the labels and filters, uh, a bit of the Google chat and third party integration tool with the chat and spaces. And at the end, I will talk about the calendar and how the calendar helps your business to mm, reduce time. Yeah, and just let's, let's proceed. So I will share my screen and show you how this things looks like. Okay. Yep, presented. So uh, I have like the default Google Workspace Gmail account, uh, just a few sample emails and it's it's all almost the default, no additional configuration. So I'll show you how to start easily uh, with the Gmail, with the Google Workspace and their services. And from the first, I wanna start um, with the labels, yeah, labels and filters. So in Google Workspace, in Gmail especially, uh, you have like, tons of uh, newsletters uh, of the some notifications yeah as i have for example here for the google cloud login notifications yeah and i have many of them here uh, so what i want to do i want to ha have my inbox more clear yeah uh, to focus more about the work tasks uh, i need to focus right now yeah and i don't want to see like ton of emails that i don't need uh in my gmail so how to optimize this process um, i have some emails from google cloud login yeah i can just uh copy this email that's all i need to know and get into the search in gmail so here i just paste uh, this email and create a filter what an option do we have in filter? First of all, I want, uh, for sure, I want to skip the inbox. Yeah, so I don't want to see these uh, emails in my inbox. I want to apply it under the label. So if you then don't have one, you can just easily create it from here, for example, cloud, uh, okay. cloud notifications, yeah. Okay, so I applied the label and I also want to apply all matching conversation under this label. So I just easily create the filter. Yep. And you see that cloud natives here and I can easily see all of the cloud notifications under my label. Yeah. And I don't have them in my inbox. So that's clear. I can focus on my uh, current tasks more and only check this out when I want to check some yeah, cloud login actions and notifications. Next one, let's get into the Google chat. And the Google chat is, you know, maybe one of the most powerful tools uh, in the Google workspace for the tight collaboration between the teams, between the people. You can create one-to-one -one chat, group chat, you can create spaces. And I will show you space right now, which is the analog, uh, kind of analog for the, for example, GR channel, for Telegram channels. So, but it 
smoothly integrated into the Google Workspace infrastructure. Yeah, it not, uh, it's not only the chat, it, it's the tool for uh, collaboration. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what we have here, we have a marketing chat with five members. I can also add like external members here, etc. cetera. Um, so we do marketing in marketing chat. And what is the typical task here? For example, first of all, we do the presentations here, yeah, marketing does the presentations. Uh, I want to mm, discuss a new presentation with my team, like, hi team, let's uh, take care about this presentation. So what I want to do, uh, what I need to do, I need to share the presentation with them. We have a few options. And first of all, we can easily click on the plus uh, on the Google Drive. And we have a bunch of file types which we can create uh, yeah, from here. And I want to create Google Slides. So new presentation. Yeah, just a sample. So that, that's like all. I created a presentation. It will upload uh, into the Google chat. and. Uh, it opened uh, right here in my window. So the idea is to work in the single window. You, you don't need to switch between the windows, between the programs, uh, so you don't lose your focus on your task. Yeah. So you can easily edit your presentation, add some slides, uh, add some samples, uh, discuss it with your team. Uh, like, oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, make some changes. It's collaborative tool. Uh, your team could command it, etc. So next thing mm, next thing i have my google drive and i have already prepared presentation uh, which i was working on by myself yeah so for example this one mm. um company presentation okay so what i can to do first of all like share it manually yeah uh, by myself with everyone i need to share or second option and maybe the most the coolest option here i can just copy the link uh, on this presentation paste it into the google chat uh, in my space with the company yeah uh, replace it with smart chip and just send it it will ask me um, which role i want to share it uh, with anyone so it's secure yeah pretty secure you can't share the presentation with anyone uh, you just send the link i send message i want them to comment the presentation yeah and they have it in their google chat the same thing for example with the calendar I want to meet my marketing team. So what I want to do, uh, what I need to do. Yeah, I just click plus, click calendar invitation. Yeah, you see that I have a, a small calendar on the right side of the screen. And you see, I can change the time I want to put this presentation on, for example, from 1 p.m. And all of the members uh, in this chat, uh, in this space, uh, uploaded into the, into the uh, event in my calendar. Save and share. Uh, send the notification, invite all guests, that's all. Yeah, I booked uh, the meeting. So I didn't switch to the other window to do this. And I can manage this event from my calendar. So this is the marketing team invitation and they have also a notification in the Google chat. Okay, so that's how it looks like. And uh, let's go to the next features uh, about the third party tools uh, in my Google chat. So. What options do I have? Uh, for example, I work uh, with my tasks uh, in Asana. Yeah, um, so also the powerful tool for managing your teams, etc. Uh, I integrated easily just in the few clicks, uh, I added it uh, to the space and uh, just signed in uh, into this integration. So what I can to do, I have a list of commands uh which i can to ch which i can choose yeah i can assign task create task uh, give a feedback uh, delete the task talk more about uh, my profile in asana but uh what i like in this um commands is asana my tasks so uh, i just uh, paste the command uh the integration will get into the asana and get all of my tasks in my project yeah so my tasks for today you know, the idea is pretty simple, but very powerful. You have a single window, you work with calendar, files, with everything, you type messages, and you just click one command and you have all of your tasks under your hand. You can click view, yeah, and you can integrate, uh, I mean, edit it in Asana, or you can just, mm, okay, I need to identify project stakeholders, okay, and I'm working uh, for this task in email, yeah, so I don't need to switch. Mm, cool. So 
the latest thing, uh, the last thing I want to share with you, uh, a calendar. So I can go to the uh, new tab with my calendar. So I have a bunch of meetings for today, for tomorrow, and I don't want to uh, book these meetings uh, manually by myself, especially with the customers. Yes, yeah, so you know that's important. Um, I want uh, to have a schedule for myself, the appointment schedule. What I need to do, easy. Just click create appointment schedule here and title, I don't know, daily uh, schedule, for example. Yeah, uh, you can choose appointment duration, for example, like 45 minutes. Uh, you can choose dates, uh, days you want to meet customers, uh, your uh, time, yeah, so your schedule. Uh, I want to have a Saturday as well, uh, for example. Yeah, you can choose schedule windows, so you have uh, you can have gaps between the meetings and you can choose timing for them. Um, you can choose different calendars and also cool feature uh, co host. So what is the co-host? Uh, by default, yeah, uh, you have your own schedule and you will be only one who will be added into the meeting if the customer will book uh, your slot. But you can also add your colleagues to these meetings, yeah? And you can create different schedules. For example, one for yourself, one for your uh, for yourself and your colleague. You can add them as co-hosts and they will join the meeting. They will be the co-hosts. So click next. Uh, you can choose uh, location. It could be conference room or just the Google Meet or phone call, for example. Yeah, uh, you can choose description and also a booking form fields. So the required fields: name, surname, and email address. Easy, yeah. And you also can add an items by yourself. So it could be, for example, phone number. It could be required or not. Yeah, optional. Uh, you can choose custom items. Yeah, and add custom fields. So the idea is the flexibility uh, of this tool. And also we have an option to create, a, for example, uh, payment appointments. Yeah, for example, I want to require payment booking and like uh, I want to get 50 bucks for uh, the slot with me. But yeah, we are in CloudFresh do consultation for free and help customers for free. So I don't want to use this feature right now. Okay, just click save. Yeah, my daily schedule is here and you can see slots here. Uh, I can click it, open the booking page or share it. Share by the link, uh, yeah, uh, copy the link and just send it to the customer. And let's see how the customer uh, sees uh, my appointment schedule. So he can just choose the day, for example, Wednesday. Wednesday at uh, 11 o'clock, yeah. Uh, so he type his name, he or she, never mind. Yeah, surname, uh, email address, and just click book. That's all. That's all. You will get notification uh, for your email. Yeah, uh, that. Yeah, uh, you have invited to your uh, appointment, and uh, you can see the appointment in the calendar. So you can uh, attach meeting rooms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's it. That that's the idea of the uh, Google Workspace infrastructure. You have powerful tools. They are all integrated in the single solid system, and you don't need to switch to the different windows. So be productive. And that's all from my side. I'm ready to answer your questions. So let me reshare the presentation. Just a moment. Thank you, Ilya. Thank you, Ruslan Dominic, for sharing your insights on Google Workspace. Thank you for this demo. I'd like also to highlight one more time that we have a special offer. So you can scan the QR code and get a chance to get uh, the Nova Google Meet Series 1 kit. And uh, I want also to say that uh, we will share the video recording with you after the session. So thank you all for joining. I will stop the recording for now.